APIs, I'm from Compact yes, Code 8 and I have Gabriele with me. Uh, today I won the OTS Championship at Ferrara and this is the deck profile. Before starting I would like to do some shoutouts. I would like to shout out God for being there for me, I would shout out my girl, I would shout out Gabriele, Ciro who lent me the cards, Andre especially, who gave me the cards to play the deck, and uh, Nazio Pazzos Gravato, that's all. Now shout out to our sponsors, the first one being Grad, the best grading company in Europe, based in Pianeta, Hobby in Milan. The second one is Card Trader, the online marketplace platform where you'll find the cards you need at market price in one shipment only. Create your account using the link right here. The third one, Game to Collect, is one of the top Italian sellers on the market, specialized in high rarity American cards, code format, and misprints. They also collect your cards up to 85% of their value. Next one is Magician Circle, a local store in Trieste specialized in sealed and custom products. They also host events for all TCGs. Then shout out to Game Lover, your favorite place based in Crema, where you can eat, play card games, table games, and also video games. Next we got Aliandi, your go-to place in San Giovanni Lupatoto, where you can find mangas, comics, board games, singles, and tournaments for all TCGs. Then a shout out to Planet Fun, the best place to go in Rovato for weekly tournaments for all TCGs. Last local store we have is Gamerland, based in Abiate Grasso, Lombardi's best shop to buy singles, sealed, and play weekly tournaments. Then we have Chapa's playmats, they produce amazing custom playmats that may have your own image on them. Last but not least we have Dragon Inc, they produce our official PA jerseys and cloth mats. All their links are in the description down below, so don't forget to check them out. As I'm playing the Hydras, the Chundras, one Gerroku, one Fadra, this is all you need, and I'm playing one Magnamut, I don't think you need anything else besides this. Obviously I'm playing three of these, uh, the field spell, okay. terraforming and prosperity. Uh, reaction? Uh, <laughs> then for no engine I'm playing three drop, this is trash, don't play this. Dark host, these are really good. This is also very good. These were really good. And I believe that uh, you should play board breaker with some hand traps. So, and I was playing three shifters, three Purulias. I would play Foros, but I don't have them yet. So for now, Purulias. I'm playing three Ashes, three Impermas, and one Impulse. Don't have more than this. If I had more, I would play more. <laughs> Then let's go to the extra deck. For the extra deck, obviously one of these. You need you don't really need this, you just have it if you want out TK or do something after Princess. One SP, this is really good. This is actually the only link you really need besides seals. The one princess, this is good. Ita, this is good. This should be Stiker Dragon. I don't have it right now. This is this was okay. This is really good. I was playing two of them. They don't really come up, uh, two of these, the second is never come up, this was decent, this you, doesn't come up, but you have to play it, this was okay, this obviously you need it, and this never came up. Then for the side deck, I was playing more hand traps, and I was playing three nibs and three draws. The theory behind this was that I want. Uh, I didn't know if I was going first or second or side, so I put uh, generic hand traps that were really good in, against the combo decks. Then I played three ogres. These were really good, in my opinion. So I would still play them. I was playing three cosmics because I wanted more background removal. And the last cards were two typhoons. This was the best card in my side deck. I feel like whenever I drew it, I won. I. I would play 3, but I don't have it, so I was just playing one for very great. What is going on you guys, it's Nick here, back from Team Purple Haze, and today I've got my first place OTS deck profile. Uh, so I played Tempai for this tournament, I didn't play any Snake Eye variants like I have been in the past. Um, I wanted to try something different, just wanted to have a bit of fun. And uh, yeah, so uh, I played Tempai, not everyone finds it fun, but you know, it's dragons. I love dragons, so yeah. Uh, so, starting off with the main deck, it was 40 cards obviously, uh, 3 Pydra, 3 Chandra, 2 Genroku, only 1 Fadra, that's all you need, you don't want to draw this card, it's just, just crap to draw, uh, Dora Dora, Kaiman, uh, 1 Summoning and 1 Terraforming, um, and I guess you could count like Prosp in this part, uh, I am playing Magnum as well, but 
I'll get to that when we get to the hand traps. So yeah, pretty standard. Um, other than like maybe the Fadra is not standard at the moment, but it probably should be. Um, and then I played a few breakers. I did want to play primarily hand traps, but I did play a few just uh, for drawing into with the mulch armies. Uh, it's nice to just have a few in here. Uh, so I played two Regeki, two Lightning Storm, uh, two Final Bringer. I played this because it was better than Droplets and the Shifter because um, obviously you can use droplets and I wanted something that would let me dodge like Impim and Veilers when I was playing into boards um, and this came up uh, it also has like floodgates as well like there can be only one skill drain stuff like that uh, it's really good you get a lot of free value off it with Genroku because you can go like uh, final target Genroku in one of their cards and you can chain Genroku and then you don't pop anything but you still pop their card so you know there's, there's some nice things like that uh, but it was mainly for like dodging Veilers, Imper and stuff like that when you're like playing into boards and it was almost never dead and even going first like setting this if you shifted and you had like this and seals you were you were pretty fine so yeah i liked it every time i drew it um i don't know if i'd play three but yeah it was definitely a very good card uh, and then onto the hand traps i played a big bestial count so i played two magnum one drew it someone bold uh the main reason for this was because of shifter um i just wanted a lot of ways to dodge uh, call by on the shifter, so I'd like hold shifter for main phase. They put a bond on board, I'd shifter if they call by the chain of Um That's not the only reason, but that was a that was definitely a contributing factor. Um, I just wanted if I drew this, the game was over, and if this resolved, uh, so if they drew call by, I wanted a way to stop it. Um, I think the bestials are just really good into the Azamina cards as well and just generally good cards. They put big bodies up, they put six up for you so you can make the big synchro really early and they can't do anything in battle phase. So it's probably not a bad thing to play. Uh, the Druid Swim Sends came up quite a lot as well. So I am really glad I played them. Um, yeah, nothing really much to say other than Bistil's are good cards. Uh, they help make seals as well. So they're sometimes extenders. Um, three Perulia, one Furos. I only have one, so I only played one. Uh, that, that's it really uh, three ash uh, one impulse I only had one you know sorry guys but I only had one of each so you know I just played what I had um, and then three imperm uh, just to round off the main deck uh, so a few a few hand traps not a lot but yeah um, and then for the extra uh, one trident dragon obviously uh, one transcendent i did want to play a second but i also saw that there wasn't much castira in the ots so i was happy to just play the one because unless the unicorn this um you don't really care about the second one you don't really use it it's mainly for if you, you're playing against like a unicorn or whatever uh the second biden did come up a lot though um even without unicorn ripping one um it's just because like sometimes you want to make this in your first turn combo and then if you don't kill them you want another one to make uh, the turn after so it, it matters uh, it's pretty good um and then black rose odd eyes uh cobalt uh, shooting riser this is for a tech i'm playing in the side deck which i'll get to in a bit but this this was pretty good uh samurai destroyer i never made this i've pretty much banished this off prosper every game um there was ubel there but i didn't play against it so maybe this would have come up if i played the ubel but I, I never summoned it. Um, and then for the links, uh, one striker, one seals, one SP, one heater, one do little, and one princess. Um, I think that's all you need. You need this for OTK and when you get debarred. So if they just pass on an empty ball with just debarrier, then this actually kills. So, you know, yeah. it matters. And then for the side, uh, shout out to Cam Garashi. And then. Uh, we had played Zombie, World, and Banshee. So this is where I played the Shooting Riser. Um, if I went first, I wanted another way to stop like the Mirror and Ubel playing. Because um, they, they pretty much just can make anything into this. Like all three of these um, are locked by Zombie World because they all need dragons. So if you play the Mirror, you just Shooting Riser, send Banshee. You let them go. Uh, commit cards so they can't like lightning storm you or whatever and then you just banshee out a zombie world um so it's pretty good uh it came up quite a bit 
and then I played one Cracky Mail Draco, obviously for some off seals. Uh, I played three Nib. I I had three slots on the side, and there was like um, there's a few slots that it could have been. But I ended up settling on Nib because I wanted an extra hand trap for going second. Um, I didn't want it to be draw because I didn't want it to conflict with Shifter. But if my opponent decided to play into Shifter and I try and set up like a few um, interactions, then like this was always just like brutal and just the end of the game. Um, so I think this was okay. Uh, every time I drew it, it was like decent. It at least checkmated my opponent into I can't die because I have Nib. Um, I drew it a couple of times off like uh, the Mulchamis so that my opponent couldn't kill me. So it was pretty good. Um, I don't know if I'd play it again, but it was... Uh, it was definitely worth the slots, I think. It won me a few games. And then I played two Phantasme, uh, three Cosmic, Call by Harpies. I had one slot, it was gonna be the third Phantasme, but I didn't have enough to side out for going second. Um, so I wanted another go first card, and the, just the one of Heatwave was like, okay if I drew it. And then one Rivalry, and this could have been an anti-spell. Uh, but I didn't think anti spell was that good because I didn't want to shut off my engine as well if I top deck Terraform in the turn after. I didn't want it to stop me from playing. Um, so I just thought one heat wave was fine. Uh, I never drew it, so it never came up, so I don't know. Um, but yeah, uh, that's it for the deck, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe if you haven't already. Catch you guys in the next video.